Okay, Alan, so uh, what we're going to do is get ready uh, for scrubbing first. So tell us what, what you need to do to, to get ready to be able to scrub. Okay, so um, what you need to do, as I've already done, is put my eye protection on. Um, I'm opening my gown now, ensuring yeah. that I don't touch any of the... Uh, so you're just touching pack. the very, very edges of the, just, of the gown pack. Yeah, just the yeah. very edge of the pack. Now I'm opening my gloves. Now I'm putting my gloves above my gown so I don't then touch them later on and I'm able to get my gown Oh, out. OK. And then opening that packet, you just get the very edges of the plastic. You don't touch yeah. the the little wrapping that the glove no, comes in at all. No, not at all. I'm um, putting my mask on, so I've uh, got to make sure that's very comfortable because it might be on there for a few hours. Um, tied at the top and then the bottom ties... Yeah, and some people tie that bottom one on top of the head. It just yeah, depends how you go. It's okay. Whatever's comfortable. And for if you, you had a beard, you'd need to make sure that, that was contained within the. Make sure that's covered. Yeah. Yeah, which, which obviously, so. well, these days you don't. So. Okay. So I'm so. just making sure that uh, I'm getting the water to the right temperature for me. Yeah. And getting my uh, my nail brush out. Okay. Is it important? Do you need to brush your nails every time? You don't need to brush your nails every time. You need to do it for the first scrub of the day. Okay. And particularly if you've been gardening or something, we get all Absolutely. those bits of everything yeah. out from underneath nails. Um, yeah. Okay. So just... There is also a nail pick in there, so you can uh, get any any bits of uh, okay. ingrained dirt out. Okay. So I see. So you've got your uh, your arms at a bit of an angle there. Yes, I'm just making sure that my, the water always runs towards the elbow. Okay. So your hands higher than your elbow. Yeah. Okay. And then when you put, so uh, you're using um, some iodine prep there, but. Uh, yeah. What, how do you how do you get it onto your hands? So you use your elbow to um, to pump out a measure onto your hands. Mm -hmm. um, rub it in and then rub it up to your elbows. Okay, so always go from hands to elbows always. again. Always. Okay. So, so now, you're using your elbow again yep, and applying that to the the, the nail brush. Mm -hmm. So I'll give my nails a good scrub. Yeah. Making sure they're all clean. Discard that okay. into the bin. Any time you should do that for, and just until they're clean. Until they're clean. Yeah. So, but each scrub should take approximately one minute. Each, per each phase of it. Each, fa yeah. each uh, scrub. Okay, so e each time you do this with your hands, yeah. it should take about a minute. Okay. So I'm, um, I'm doing my working the solution into the hands. Yeah. And you're going in between your fingers. Interlocking fingers. Yeah. And then I'm doing my thumbs there. Yeah. So you just got to go pay particular attention to those bits in between the fingers, the thumbs, all the bits, yeah. rather than just rub your hands together, be yeah. focus on particular bits. The web spaces, especially between yeah. your fingers. Okay. Now I'm just working that solution into my yeah, into my palms and into my nails. Yeah. Now I'm going back up a little way. Now rinse off, always ensuring that the water drips towards my elbow. Yeah, so there you go, there's the angle again, isn't it? So you, your hands are always hide in your elbow when you're doing this. There you go, and the water just kind of runs off your elbow. You stand, stand back enough that you don't yeah. end up being soaked when you're doing this. It's happened to me quite a lot in the past. There you go, so elbow on the dispenser. Yeah, this time I will be repeating the process again. Mm -hmm. So rubbing palm to palm, then rubbing the backs of my ha each hand with the palm of the other hand with mm -hmm. the fingers interlocked. Yeah. And then doing palm to palm with the fingers interlocked. And then each thumb again. Yep. Okay. So in, a, in about a minute at least. In total for, for your, each of for these, each each these phases of the. Oh yeah. Okay. There you are. In the underneath of your fingers, into yep. the palms, and the tips sure of your fingers again. Circular motion. Yeah. And then I will be working now that I'm working the solution, two thirds of the way up my arm because right. I've previously cleaned up to my elbow, I don't want to carry on all the way up. Oh, okay, there. so you don't want to contaminate your hand again with any bit you might not have got yeah. right up to your elbow with last time. Okay, yeah. yeah, I can see that. So I'll rinse off. Any particular scrub we should use? Any particular solution or...? Um, we've got... Um, oh, there cool. you are. You, you, you're pushing things off with your elbow, it's mm -hmm. important to remember, and keeping your hands up as you walk across. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Now I'll separate the two hand wipes. And what you need to do now is keep it folded in half, keep the hand wipe folded in half, and then ensure that you're drying between your fingers, make sure you dry those web spaces, and then pat down your arm mm -hmm. to your elbow and discard. Mm -hmm. 
Again, not touching the bin, not touching anything else. Don't yeah. touch anything else. Keeping your hands up. And repeat. Yeah. And it's important to get dry, isn't it? Because it's uncomfortable when you have gloves on for a long time and it's been a bit damp to yeah. start with. And it's very di difficult to get your gloves on. Yes. So now I will lift the gown, support it. You hold the top, the neck of the gown there yeah. and just let it... Give it a little shake. And it all falls out. So again, you don't unfold it, you just let it naturally unravel. Yeah. And arms up. Arms up and then get assistance to tie, tie you up at the back. Yeah. Now I'm keeping my hands below the level of the cuff just yeah. to make sure that my, fing my fingers don't pop out. Yeah, so nothing showing there. Yeah. Yeah. Really important not to scratch your nose at this point. No, no. don't scratch your nose. So once I'm tied up, I'll then be putting on my gloves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this can be a bit complicated for some people. but uh, oh, I remember finding this really difficult yeah. when I was a student. This bit. When you first start doing it, it's complicated. So, so tell us what you do. So I'm hooking my thumb underneath the cuff of the glove with the fingers pointing to the elbow and then holding the opposite side of the cuff and pulling it round my hand, pulling it down the gown and then making sure that my hands don't come out at any point and contaminate it and repeat on the other side. Okay, so we're going to go to a close-up of that uh, in a minute so we can see that more closely. Now that's the closed method which is the preferred way of donning your mm -hmm. gloves. So now we're going to just have a look at that close-up of how to put the glove on because it is a bit complicated so there's the packet so there's your, right your hands are still inside the cuffs so you unfold the packet and then how are we going to go from here so what i'm going to do is remove the right hand glove because i am right-handed mm -hmm. and put that on first so mm. i place the fingers pointing towards my inner the inner part of my elbow yeah. thumb to thumb is it thumb into the yeah into the yeah. cuff where the thumb is and then so Fingers pointing towards your thumb inside next to the thumb of the glove. Yeah, and then just pop it round. Yeah, flip it over. And once you see your fingers, pull yeah. up the... And importantly, on this side, you do normal manipulation with your hand inside the gown. Yes. Yeah, so you're not touching the glove at all. No. Okay. So well. once my right hand is has a glove on, I'm able to pick the left glove up and repeat it on that side. So... Fingers to elbow, bring the cuff of the glove round, and then pull it down. Fantastic. It does take practice. Yes, no, I remember. I remember being sent back lots of times. All right, there you're all scrubbed, yeah. and then you need to tie the gown around the back a little yeah. bit more. Make extra. sure there's enough room. Pass the card to the assistant, turn around, and tie a bow to the side. That's right, so don't touch your assistant, and they pull that paper tag off. So they haven't actually touched the gown at all. No. Okay, and there you are scrubbed. All ready to go. Okay, well thank you very much indeed. That's okay.